hi, my name is Nihal. I'm the founder of Healthstore Turkey and this is Dr. Özgür and he is the founder of Dog Dental. Dental Operations Center, yes. A dental operation center and also an implantologist yes. as a um, profession. Are implants safe and how long will they last? Uh, at the moment we can say yes, they are safe because uh, if the medical history of the patient is okay, if bone quality is okay, um, or if we can manage the bone, uh, it's safe. And also it depends on uh, the brand of implants and uh, the surgeon. Uh, so it's... Lifetime. If, li so we, we if can, the surgeon is experienced... Yes. And the quality of implant yes. is the best you can. Yes. And also the patient um, mm -hmm. you know, looks after the um, yes. mouth and the hygiene is perfect. After and surgery. After surgery. Yes. After they surgery should, care. Okay, okay, so they should last a lifetime. Yes, we can say like that. We cannot uh, say uh, any time. Okay. okay, so it should last. I mean, so the, if I get implants tomorrow done by Dr. Özgür, um, and in, and they are Serona, what we're using? Zyve, dance ply. Dance ply. Mm -hmm. So or, I should not need to get or, them replaced for the rest of my life. Or any good brand from uh, Sweden or any good brand from, uh, a, we call them A-plus implants. Yeah, A-plus uh, implants. Same. Okay, or, or. brilliant. Will it look obvious that I've got implants? Again, uh, it depends on the patient. If in a few uh, gaps that we fill with implants, uh, it's very uh, same as originals. But sometimes we make uh, full mouth extractions and uh, too much bone loose. So we uh, try to adapt it to his or her lip and smile line mm -hmm. so when you smile or talk definitely nobody can understand but if you take your lip up yes you can understand because we have to make it cleanable mm -hmm. okay because in long term uh, you have to not lose any more bone so unless you go to a dentist yes. um, nobody can tell i yes. have implants yes. can i get implants if i smoke Yes, of course, but uh, it's a risk mm -hmm. in first three weeks by the healing period. If even you smoke, mm -hmm. if you don't smoke after the surgery for three weeks, it's much better. Okay, it's like every healing process. Yes. If I'm going to yes. get a surgery, yes. Yes. I have to sp stop every, smoking. Every surgical for four issue weeks. because. Yes many of things I can explain. Can I get implants if I'm pregnant? Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. Because uh, it's not very emergency treatment. Mm -hmm. It's better to make it after pregnancy. Can I get a teeth whitening treatment if I have sensitive teeth? Uh, it's not a good idea because uh, during the whitening, mm -hmm. uh, the tubules open too much mm -hmm. and you will have much more sensitivities. During whitening, uh, I think you may have serious sensitivities, okay. pain and uh, you want to stop it. Mm -hmm. So it's better uh, to fill the tubules first and treatment and then just cleaning mm -hmm. if you have too much sensitivity. How long does the teeth whitening last? Uh, we can say two years, but it depends on your habits, eating habits, if it's very dark, also drinking, drinking, red, coffee, red, coffee, red wine, uh, brushing after care, uh, it depends. And also after office bleaching, mm -hmm. we gave some plates and uh, some... Uh, for home bleaching, mm -hmm. uh, so you can make it every four months, mm -hmm. uh, so you can, uh, can last, up to, last up to 
two years by the by that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. When will I start to see the results of teeth whitening? Same day. Same day. Same day, but uh, it fits in two days. Mm -hmm. So it's better to not eat or drink calorie things for two or three days. Okay. After that, you have to brush well. Right. Okay. And smoking? No. Definitely no not for maybe teeth two whitening. days, maybe one week. And um, does teeth whitening damage teeth at all? Uh, definitely not. But uh, also we cannot make teeth whitening to all, all people time. because sometimes... Uh, where the animal is very thin mm -hmm. or cracks on the animal or uh, defects on it mm -hmm. or cariasis mm -hmm. uh, it's not a good idea and you can damage mm -hmm. the doctor must uh, make the diagnosis very clear before Some, the teeth yes, yes. Okay. what is a dental crown and how long do they last? Uh, dental crown uh, is a treatment way that uh, you lose too much structure from your own tooth. Mm -hmm. So we uh, repair it mm -hmm. with crown. So we have to shape it mm -hmm. uh, and uh, take the hard part of the tooth and put over the hard part mm -hmm. and in a good shape, good contact with the others and uh, good adaptation with the opposite side for chewing. Uh, and we have different materials for it, mm -hmm. uh, metal backed crowns, zirconium crowns, uh, on lace, in lace, uh, it's about the uh, damage. Mm -hmm. you can, and how long can, do they last? Uh, metal backed last maybe 8 to 10 years. Mm -hmm. Zirconium lasts uh, maybe 10 to 15 years. Uh, in less, on less, much longer. Uh, but again, it's up to patient. How they look after yes, it. Yes, definitely. And the, all the illnesses, gum diseases yes, yes, or yes. diabetes? Just that. Uh, metal backed and zirconiums are strong enough, same. Mm -hmm. But metal backs are thick mm -hmm. and not very biocompetitive with the gum. Mm -hmm. So uh, it shrinks much quicker. Mm -hmm. But zirconiums are thin and biocompetitive. And uh, the gum can cover the zirconium. So... Why we say 15 years? It's about the age. Mm -hmm. Just that. Oh, and both same strong. No problem. And strong. why would I need a dental crown? Uh, if you damage your uh, too, too much, mm -hmm. if you cannot make just feeling uh, over half of it, mm -hmm. we have to make crown okay. to make it stronger. Or uh, if you have not the correct line mm -hmm. if uh, you need a new bite if it's very short if it's very high we can arrange your bite line smile with mm -hmm. that treatment so can ceramic crowns break of course your original Teeth to, can break. Teeth can break. Uh, ceramic can break, but uh, it's very difficult to break them. Uh, if you are squeezing them at night or daytime, mm -hmm. also you can break your original. You can break them, so mm -hmm. you need another treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not about the ceramic. It's about okay. your it's, habits it's, it's, yes. yeah. and your bite. Something is wrong if you mm -hmm. can break it. Okay. Um, what kind of maintenance is involved in crowns? So I have them done. So how do I need to look after them? It's again just after care because if uh, dentists adapt it mm -hmm. very good uh, and 
uh, if respect to the gum, if respect to tissues, and uh, if everything is okay with the doctor, mm -hmm. it's just about aftercare. You have to brush it with soft brush from gum to teeth mm -hmm. to not have gum recession. And uh, six months, every six months, you have to check it mm -hmm. if Clean. anything goes wrong because you cannot maybe sometimes pain sensitivity, but you may have problem, mm -hmm. so no need to be it burst. Okay. okay, and how basically the, the checking? Do you include the aftercare packages to your dental treatments? So can I come to you yes. every six months for yes. my checkups yes, after yes. getting crowns? Yes, we won't charge anything. Just come, okay. <laughs> just come because it's better to check it six months later then uh, it's going worse two years. Mm -hmm. No, okay. no need to cool. see that. Yeah. So why zirconium is better than um, metal backed? Uh, zirconium crowns uh, are hard, like uh, strong enough, like metal mm -hmm. backed, and they are thin and uh, biocompetitive so gum can cover it mm -hmm. but metal backed is thick because of the metal so you have to shape the tooth too much to replace it into the gum so it's not good for tooth and also mm -hmm. it's not good for gum uh, but over implants Implant is thin and uh, has enough space for metal bed. Mm -hmm. Over implants, no problem. Also, you can put enough porcelain over the metal mm -hmm. over implants. So it's also aesthetic over mm -hmm. implants. But over tooth, if you want to put too much porcelain, it will be thick. If you cannot put too much porcelain, you will see the metal inside. It's mm -hmm. not aesthetic. So, in that uh, time, mm -hmm. we always use zirconium crowns over original tooth, mm -hmm. but it's possible to make metal backed over implants. Um, what are laminates? Yeah, laminates, uh, sometimes uh, patients want uh, their smile line in the same line and cosmetic and also same color. Okay. Uh, we have not too much options. We have to shape both of them and make Emacs or zirconium crowns, but we don't like shaping all teeth mm -hmm. because uh, it will end, it will last much, much shorter. But if we want to shape much, much less. Mm -hmm. We make luminaires. We sometimes we never shape. Mm -hmm. We never touch the original. But sometimes if it's very front, mm -hmm. we have to shape maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeters from the front side. Mm -hmm. And uh, from the... So it's less damage yes, to the dental yes. teeth. So, so you prefer laminates to the... If possible, so if possible, uh, if the bite is good, mm -hmm. uh, if the habits are good, mm -hmm. we prefer always laminates because inside is your original, the okay. out, just outside is porcelain and very, very, very okay. thin. So if somebody is clenching their teeth, grinding their teeth, laminates is not really a good idea. Uh, if we can arrange the position mm -hmm. and uh, if we use night plates, uh, if uh, the patient squeeze in the daytime, we can make Botox to masseters. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use laminates again, but if very deep bite, mm -hmm. if not enough space, mm -hmm. definitely uh, he or she will break it. So we have to check if it's suitable for laminates or not. But if it's suitable, the best option because we damage much, much less. Yes. Yes. Finally, why don't you like composite bonding? Uh, yeah, 
We we love composite bonding. It's okay. it's good idea. Uh, we don't damage the teeth. Mm-hmm. We just glue the composite over it. But after a few months yeah. or a year, the color changes, and it sometimes breaks very easily. So patients nearly spent. Uh, same amount mm-hmm. and it ends very early okay sometimes so so if you're getting this. composite bonding you need to be prepared to change them yes sooner than you're changing um yeah. laminates sooner than you're changing crowns uh, yes and you have to look after, look after them much much better and also habits mm-hmm. uh, i love composite bonding because i don't damage to it yeah. but Patients uh, that they have to have lots of money. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.